Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing very well. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard. This is HP EliteBook 840 G6 laptop motherboard and it's came in repair. It's uh, not turning on. So now I will try to fix this. So let's try to fix it. Okay, this is the motherboard part number as you can see here. So now I will try to fix this board and I will check all the required voltage step by step. So let's let's plug in fast and um, as you can see the LED is blinking let's try to turn on but it's not triggered let's remove this CMOS battery Plugged in again. Condition is same. It's not turning on. So let's check all the always voltage one by one. <clears throat> so I'm going to start from this uh, main power rail here. As you can see, this current sense resistor. <clears throat> we have 11.93. It's perfect. So there's a 3.3 volt always. This is a 5 volt always. 3.3 volt always. This is a 5 volt always. secondary voltage. So as you can see we have all the required voltage always voltage is present on this motherboard so before checking anything I will visual inspection whole motherboard try to find out something like corrosion burning sign and broken track so let's check under my microscope Okay, here you go. We got some corrosion here, as you can see. Let's move on. Okay, let's the bolt. So thermal thermal IC. That look like something strange. Okay, this side is clear. So now I'm going to check this crystal. I 
let's check this on my oscilloscope. So as you can see we have 32 kilohertz. It's working. RTC section is okay. Output also okay. Okay, it's nice. So nothing <coughs> is found here. We just found this little crotch on here. So let's clean this area and I think some track also broken here. Let's make those all the track, then I will check again. Look at here, <clears throat> I think these three tracks are okay. Only one is crowded here, this line. So first I will check if the board is ready then I will apply solder mask here. in again and here we go it's turning on as you can see so 1.8 volt goes to CPU Okay, it's turning on. So it's very important to visual inspection always I recommend before do, doing anything on motherboard you should visual inspection whole motherboard 
so you can easily find out if there is anything if there is anything corrosion burning sign or anything else so you can easily find out and you can easily fix any of the boat like this one let's restart and we have HP logo so you successfully fixed this board it was really 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 easy thanks everyone for watching this video